Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Virgos. Here is your general tarot and oracle card reading for the week of January the 18th to the 24th, 2021. Again, I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, leaving me beautiful, positive comments. I'm very humbled and also for clicking that bell when you do subscribe so that you get notified whenever any of my card readings are out here for you to view. Keep in mind, I do go uh, on and off out live on YouTube on Super Chat Sundays, so you'll get notified of them as well where I give out free messages. Also, uh, any information is listed below should you want to contact me for a private session in the information box below. Let's get on with our reading. Your all over energy card here today is the surrender to worry. So make a commitment not to lead an, an anxiety driven life. When worries arise, breathe them out of your body. Focus on the power of your heart and have faith that spirit is guiding you always. So you may have reason here. Uh, you may have, have, have some struggles and some challenges this week. And I think at the end of the day, you're gonna be letting go of something. I've been looking at these energy cards and they're very, very profound. Uh, they're saying that you're cutting the cords, you're letting something go, you're ending something and you're moving in a brand new direction. Uh, and this is going to benefit you by cutting the cords and doing that. You're going to be able to release any worry now. So I think, you know, this card is a perfect card for coming up this week. When you're facing these challenges, realize that you're going for one particular goal here, and that is to find your peace and happiness. And the only way sometimes we can do that is to cut the cords and remove something, end something, and then move in that beautiful new direction. Endings and beginnings, my friends. Doors closed, doors open. Now, you've got letting go here. How ironic, okay? Letting go. Let Learn to let go, okay? So this is about realizing that you can't always hang on to something and see that it works out to your benefit. We all have been there. We need to let things go. We need to weigh the options that we have, the, the pros and cons of the energy around us or a situation or a relationship and ask ourselves, what is truly uh, helping us grow and expand and move in a positive, happy, healthy direction? So I think you're going to be letting go of something. You're going to be cutting ties and you're going to be moving forward all for the greater good and for the benefit of your happiness and peace. You're going to be clearing out the old. Look what you got here. I mean, this is amazing. These cards that Spirit's given me. You're going to be getting rid of things, okay? You're finally going to see the light. Maybe you, you know, you've been enabling something. Maybe you just haven't wanted to see something happen here or end something. You didn't want to be the bad guy or you, you know, you were hoping and dreaming and wishing so hard that things would smooth out and work out. But at the end of the day, we can't always make those things happen. And also, we can't help people that have addic addictive and negative and toxic energy. They have to take responsibility and step up and do the things that are right for them. We cannot be expected to heal everybody or to help everybody, uh, you know, turn people and sway people uh, in a good direction. They have to be the ones that want to do it. So I think that you're, you know, you're clearing, uh, you know, out the old. You're going forward in a brand new beautiful direction, my Virgos. Again, look what you got, the death card, the sarcophagus. Absolutely, endings and new beginnings. I think you're going to see something end here. You're going to close the door to one thing and you're going through a new one. This is you realizing that something had to end or something, you know, did end. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. It could be the end of a contract, a job, something like that, where now you're going on and you're moving on in a new direction. But this is the closing the door on one part, uh, ending a phase, a situation, or even a relationship. You're going forward in a brand new direction. Coming in with your crowning energy, look what you got. Ace of Pentacles, you know, opportunities and offers coming in toward you could be, have to do with your job, your career. Maybe you're going to receive, uh, you know, an offer there uh, that something's coming in for you in the financial part of your life. This is beautiful. Aces are the beginnings of things, right? Aces are the beginnings of all things. And this particular one says, get ready. Get ready to move forward. You're going to get reward for your hard work and effort that maybe you've been working towards or advocating towards. You could be uh, dealing with a legal issue. You could be fighting or advocating for something, defending yourself, standing up and promoting yourself for something in uh, in your job. I don't know why my page went dark all of a sudden. It was light a minute ago because I had the sun shining on. So I'm going to raise the light here on my computer. Sorry about that so that you can see the cards better. Uh, yes, yeah, so something wonderful is coming in. Okay, this is a this is an accomplishment. You're going to see tangible results now. This is the beginning of things shifting in your favor. And you know what? It could be you know in the financial part of your life. You're turning over a new leaf. 
Okay, you're going to be grounded again in the real world. This is beautiful. And all of this change here in the ending of something is what's proving that. Don't give up. Keep looking for your ship to come in. This is, the, this is the beautiful three of wands. This is staying and communicating with those at a distance, perhaps. Maybe you're wanting to deal with somebody at a distance. Maybe you're working towards a goal here, a job, a career, something like that. But I do see that you're going to be able to step up and see things coming in in your favor. Don't give up. This is the card that says be patient, okay? You're going to see things coming into fruition here. You're going to see, you know, some positive energy coming in. You're starting a new journey. That's what this is all about, starting a new journey. And, you know, it's time to reflect on what you know to be right for you and what is available, okay? This is about going forward, being brave, stepping out into the unknown on your own. Beautiful. Taking your time, though, because you've got the Knight of Pentacles, and he's the slowest moving knight out there. And he makes a detailed plan. He doesn't go charging in on his horse, you know, with his, with his sword in the air. He plans his move. He's making sure that he's not going to fall short. He's not going to lose this battle or this, this goal he's going towards, whatever it is you're going towards here. Make your plan. Take your time. Dot your T's and cross your I's. Okay? Be careful. Also, if you have contracts or documents that need to be notarized, you, that you read between the lines. Nine of Swords. This shows me that you've been, uh, you know, worrying about something to the point where, you know, you're losing sleep. Don't do this. It says it's unnecessary worry, okay? Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Leave your worries on the chair and, at night and get your rest because if you don't, it will create, uh, you know, health issues. Stress can lead to health issues. So we don't need that today in, in, the, in the likes of what uh, we're dealing with, being locked up right now and our immune systems and, you know, being afraid to go out because, you know, we could catch something, whatever. Uh, whatever your fear is, I want you to stop worrying about it, okay? This means you need to get your rest. Beautiful card here. Above your crowning energy, you've got the Page of Pentacles. And this Page of Pentacles, he does bring word about good news about finances. So maybe some of you have been advocating uh, for something. Maybe you've been promoting yourself. Maybe you've been in the court system. Some of you have been fighting for something. But look what you've got. This particular page, he brings you good news good news about finances. So step up and receive it. Keep yourself open. This is beautiful, beautiful energy coming into you. Okay, setting the wheels in motion uh, towards your goals here, which is probably your financial goals right now. There's a window of opportunity out there, but you have to go look for it. You have to step up, whether it's literally a new career or an enterprise or the chance for greater clarity in a relationship. This means let go and move towards it. Okay, move towards it. This is beautiful. So I think you're going to be taking a practical approach to things now, but you may be getting the offer of something coming in here, like a promotion, like, like a new job, like money. You're, you're going to be getting money coming in here, resources. The Hierophant. Uh, maybe some of you are awakening now, finally, leaning into your higher self, being able to ascend to the next level, being able to see the light, being able to step up and, you know, see something coming into you. A lot of you may be leaving a, a situation behind or people, and you're going to be bringing new friends, new people into your circle, people that you really get along with, people who uh, are on the same planet, the same wavelength length, length as you are, uh, people that walk the same path as you, uh, to promote each other, to grow together, to expand together. This is also the card that says maybe some of you are awakening to your spirituality. You could be joining spiritualist groups or organizations. Also, I take this as the, the blessing from the divine or the message from the divine. And I do think, you know, also this card, a lot of people read it as the card of marriage. The devil. How dare the devil show up after the hierophant, right? Okay, so this is about getting rid and of anything that doesn't serve you anymore. I think you're doing that. Letting go, you know... Uh, clearing out the old and the death card came into play here, right? Letting go of that stress and negative toxic energy that maybe you've had to be surrounded in. Uh, you could be, this is a card of addictions, addictive behavior, could be anything, uh, even negative feeling, uh, you know, uh, thinking, uh, you're going to let that go. This is a card that says you're going to be making the best decisions to help you grow and expand in a positive, healthy direction on your path. You're going to win. Okay, whatever this is you've been debating about, fighting about, uh, you know, uh, having to promote yourself, 
having to defend yourself. Again, it could be a court issue. You're going to win, but you're going to look back with hindsight and say, why do I still feel depleted and defeated? Because you're wishing that it could have gone smoother. You're wishing that it could have ended in a more amicable, amicable way. Uh, however, you know, when we go into battle, we always know there's risks and there's going to be consequences. But at the end of the day, you will win. Wow. Look what you got. Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, make a wish. So I do think some of you are going to see, uh, you know, this <clears throat> cutting of the cords, this moving on, uh, this leaving something behind here is going to lead to success for you and happiness at the end of the day. Uh, it may take you time to realize that, but I think, you know what, you're, you, you've decided that you're going to clear away the old and you're going to let go of something that's caused you a lot of stress. Whether it's, you know, it could be your job, it could be uh, the energy around you and the company you keep, or it could be a relationship. So I do see that you're going to see your cups being filled. I do see you're going to have reason to feel liberated and free and happy again. You know, it's make a wish and your wishes will be fulfilled. Beautiful. So at the end of the day, you know, you've got good news about money. Your cups are going to be filled, which is, you know, the cups could be relationships. I mean, it is an emotional card. There could be somebody here. Uh, you know, some of you are going to be happier because you're leaving a bad relationship going to a new one, perhaps. Others, I think you're going to see the happiness come in and the security coming in and the financial part of your of your life. I think you worried about a situation here. You were dealing with a lot of negative toxic energy, but at the end of the day, you win. You're able now to look at your ship coming in with promise. Okay. Let's see what we have for clarification with our beautiful ace, our new beginnings card. You've got the queen of swords. Again, look who shows up, cutting through things, getting rid of things that no longer serve you. That's the queen she is. She cuts to the chase. She doesn't put up with any crap and she says, I'm done. You're gone and I'm moving on. And so she removes energy. She removes people. She removes anything that isn't going to help her successfully, uh, you know, handle her court and move and, and be in charge of her power here. And I think you're going to be doing that. You've got the finances now coming in here. So I think you're going to be able to move forward freely and independently. Okay, let's see what we have with our three of wands. You've got the five of wands. You might have had to compete. Okay, or you could be still feeling as though you have to promote yourself and express yourself here. Uh, this could be you wanting to look towards a new job. Maybe you're, you're wanting to go forward and do something at a distance, going the, the extra mile. Know that, um, you know, stay patient. Okay, keep working towards your goals. Uh, don't give up. Our slow moving pay, our slow moving knight here, our pentacles, you've got the page of swords coming in. So you might have seen the truth in a situation here, and the truth is going to free you. So this is getting a message because pages are messengers. And this particular one brings you something that might make you have to slow down and change your plans for a little while. And it might take time to get to where you're going now because of this message that you receive. But know that the truth will always free you for the better. You've got, you know, with our Nine of Swords, losing our sleep here. Um, you've got the Queen of Pentacles, giving birth to your dreams, okay? Taking care of yourself. Uh, she has this ability, you know, she's like Mother Earth. Uh, you ground yourself here, okay? Ground yourself here. Get your rest. This is what you need to do. But she has the ability to know what she has to do for herself. And that's nurture herself, right? She is a very mothering figure. Uh, not only does she nurture others and help others grow and expand uh, successfully, but she realizes she's got to clean her own house at home first. She's got to take care of herself first in order to uh, transcend that energy out into the universe and those around her. So there could be a child coming into the family or an adoption as well. Here comes your page with the good news about money. What have you got? Again, look what you got, the double whammy here. Okay, so you've got the three of wands and the three of wands again. Staying patient, okay? It's coming in, okay? I think you're promoting yourself. You're waiting for your ship to come in and the money to arrive. Hierophant, blessing from the divine or message from the divine. King of Pentacles, wow. Midas touch card, stability and finances, dealing with financial institutions, uh, situations. Uh, I do think that, you know, you're going to be finding a lot of stability now in your financial part of your life. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and now you've got the King. And it's like you're going to say, it's almost like a gift from the Divine. A miracle happens. Wow. Letting go of that negative toxic energy. You might have had to make a decision. You might have had to bring balance into the equation. You might have had to steady yourself. 
Okay, this is the card of balance, taking on more than you can handle. You might have been taking on the burdens and the toxic energy of someone who had addictions or someone with repeating addictive negative toxic energy. Uh, you know, you could have been struggling with yourself. But I do think, you know, when you, you decide to clear out what no longer serves you and you prioritize your list and you don't take on more than you can handle, then you're going to see that you're going to see you're going to be much happier and more at peace here. It is the card of balance, but I always look at it intuitively as two choices and decisions you have to make. Do I stay and live like this, or do I go and and make my own life happy? So that in this situation, that's how I read this card intuitively. Winning that battle, winning that battle, you've got the strengths card. So this is asking for you to step back and look at a situation with a little more understanding, compassion, uh, or even forgiveness. This is looking at a situation with the gentleness of a lamb and not going in with the roar of the lion and then reacting and then regretting later. Okay, and this is what you might be feeling like. You, you want to battle, but you're thinking, oh, why did it have to come to that? Maintain your strength, your stability, your balance here. Okay, you can catch more bees with honey than you ever will with vinegar. Happy? Wow. Yeah, nine of cups. Wish is fulfilled. You've got the hermit. You thought long and hard about what it is you wanted. You took yourself within. Okay, you might have pulled back. This often refers to uh, pulling back from a relationship too. I think some of you did more than that. I think you ended one. Uh, but you're going in a brand new direction. You had insight. You took yourself you, and to hand. You thought about what you needed to do to make your life happy and you're doing it. You now have the ability to mentor or coach other people because of this. I think some of you might be stepping up to guide others. It could even be in a profession here. You might be becoming coaches of some sort. Wow. Maybe addiction coaches. I don't know, but that's what they're telling me. Well, my beautiful, beautiful Virgos, this is your reading for this week. And I do think some of you are going to be clearing something out, getting rid of something, removing toxic energy around you to move forward into your brand new direction. Be patient. Things are going slow right now, but you're going to see happiness come in. And I don't think you're, you're going to need to worry about finances at all. Well, my beautiful Virgos, this is your reading for this week, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. And remember, the universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. And my prayers are that you stay in good health, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.